coming up next, it is a women's flyweight tilt between Alexa Grasso and Jessica Andrade. Well, our stat guys are ready to score takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts rules. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty. Don't touch it. Cover it with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker. Both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the mat. Oh, really using her reach advantage there with that punch, DC. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Andrade, double leg takedown lands. It's the elbow there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Andrade is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control and underhook and getting back to your feet. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound, and this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to their feet. Fighters back to the here it's right now, but instead she goes to the trip to get the takedown. She's got a lot of different takedowns in her arsenal in those clinch situations and promptly executed the trip there. She's great at body manipulation. Yeah. You think she's taking you right, she takes you left. You step right, you step left, she's tripping you. She is a phenomenal athlete with a great mind for securing takedowns. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. 38 total strikes have landed for Jessica Andrade. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow. That big strike that she's landing over and over again. An elbow! Ah! All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Man, she might punch hard to you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Oh, really using her reach advantage to land the jab there, DC. Oh, high-level stuff here. Speed to catch the kick. Now counters with a takedown. Rosso gets hit with that elbow. You don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, how about that reversal fire there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by the young lady. What a job. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. And they separate. 
Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets Ace. that foot off Ace. the canvas to Ace. the target so quickly. She does not give her opponent any idea that that kick is coming. So 52 total strikes and counting that have landed for Jessica Andrade. And a pretty good connection rate as well, DC, landing with 61% accuracy against Alexa Grasso. Oh, outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick. But there's a lot that goes into it for her to execute it in a fight. Amazing. Grasso's knee strike is blocked. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, gorgeous straight punch there shortly after she catches the leg. So she has got her opponent's timing down to a T right now. Oh, look at that. Caught the kick and takes her to the dump. Puts her right on her back. Great job running her feet, dumping her opponent to her butt on the take down the tip off of that nice kick. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Grosso. Yeah. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this, this fight goes the on. Fight. Another takedown. Andrade gets the takedown. Now let's see if she chooses to pass here. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, nice. that's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter, her striking, and certainly found the target there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. Final round, you ready? Third round underway. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Pretty good right hand. Andrade's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice counter shot there. Nice entry directly into the finish. Nice take. Nice knee to the body there. She gets the elbow up into the target. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she gets to work at putting the money in the bank with that grounded pump. Money in the bank. Oh, outstanding knee to the body by the taller fighter. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Well, she's... Oh, that would hurt finally, yep. Oh, nice strike landed there by Andrade. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Big leg kick land. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Grosso. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 
stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Nice free punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, beautiful straight punch there. She is putting it all together here tonight. She caught the leg. Earlier, maybe might have gone for the takedown, but in this instance, she chooses to punch out. Nicely done. She slips that left hand there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. She lands a switch knee. 20 seconds left. Oh! Elbow! Oh, huge one! That'll do it! Yo! was nasty! What a performance! Yeah, just an excellent job by her to stay aggressive late in the fight. She told us during fight week she had to try to keep the judges out of it, and she certainly did that late. A huge shot landed. It landed clean. The referee jumps in to stop the fight as she gets the late knockout down the stretch here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotti has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grasso. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.